Hey, Jim Zaspel here from jimzaspel.com. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered um, what language in an agreement when you're going to wholesale a property is really essential? Well, guess what? I have two, and I've had a number of different people sell me their, their wholesaling contract systems, whatnot. And um, today I'm going to talk primarily about what's important to have an agreement with the seller when you're going to wholesale that house, okay? There's lots of different components that are essential. I'm talking in terms of the function of and what you're going to be using as, as a wholesaler and what to do. So one thing we like to do is one, you've got to have access, right? You have access to the property. Uh, it boggles my mind how many wholesalers, myself included, what I used to do, is they get this cut, lock a house up, and the seller says, no, you can't get in, not until after closing, not until the day of closing. I'm like, oh well, crap, how are you gonna sell the thing, right? So very simple, but uh, make sure you're able to you get yourself some access, right? And then another one is, and again, I'm not an attorney, but giving you legal advice, but just telling you from a business owner, as a wholesaler, as well as a rehabber, what's important to us when we're wholesaling houses, right? To market, right? right to market the house, including on the MLS, we flat out put it in there that we're going to market the property. Super duper important, right? And um, we, we put MLS, lockbox, keys, uh, sending potential buyers through that. We are really plain as day in there, okay? Now, if I'm gonna get a house under contract to buy that I know I'm gonna close on myself to fix and flip, I'm not gonna use this agreement because there's some potential uh, objections built within this agreement, right? Another thing that's really important is we want to be able to lock down this deal, right? Um, lock it up, right? So one of the things, one of my, I think it was my first year in the business, I think it was, I had this house in Horsham, I was going to wholesale it, right? And a realtor had brought the cash buyer to this deal, right? And uh, we were under contract to sell it, I think it was making like 18 grand, and a Harley Davidson on the deal, right? So I called the seller three days prior to closing and said, listen, I just want to schedule closing uh, for such and such a day and time. How does that work for you? He's like, we closed yesterday. Uh, I said, actually, we didn't. That was just, you know, maybe some paperwork. I, what, what are you talking about? Well, long story short, I made the terrible mistake of putting, <laughs> this is so stupid, such a novice mistake. I made the mistake of putting the buyer's agent, the realtor, in direct contact with the seller. Stupid, right? So guess what happened? The, real, the agent went to the seller and said, hey, listen, let's strike a deal. We'll pay you more than we we're gonna pay Jim. You, you sell it for more than you were gonna, Jim was gonna pay you. We all make more money, who needs Jim? Now that is as slimy as it gets, right? This dude's name was Marco, couldn't stand it, was pissed off, not to leave. And then, just like any other adversity, I realized, I was like, you know what? Whose fault is it that I lost the 18 grand in that Harley Davidson, right? You know whose fault it was? It's 100% my fault. But Jim, didn't the agent? Yeah, yeah, the agent. But you know what? It's 100% my fault that I didn't lock that deal up the right way. Maybe it's happened to you where you think you've got a deal and you're gonna, you've got that money spent in your head, you're paying for your kids' you know, private school tuition, or maybe you're buying that little car, or paying for the vacation, and the deal falls apart right at the last minute because you didn't lock up and sell it to somebody else. I've literally had sellers tell me, say, listen, I know we have a binding contract, take me to court, you'll win, but I got somebody else who offered $2,000 more, I'm selling to him, not you. Ah, oh, right? The integrity of people we deal with in this business sometimes is not that high. So my point is this, you want to have the ability in the agreement to lock up that deal, okay? So when you lock up the deal, um, meaning you want to be able to cloud their title. Right? And there is a way to do it where you can do it um, unilaterally. You, know, you don't need them to sign the same thing. Right? It's pretty sneaky. Not sneaky. It's 100% legitimate. All you're trying to do, you're not trying to prevent somebody from selling their house to somebody they, they, have the right, they have the legal right to. You're just trying to hold their feet to the fire to make sure that they sell the house to you. And uh, so what I've done is actually worked with my attorney uh, in consideration of these three factors and a bunch of others, lots of uh, phone calls back and forth. I gave them a list of several things that I wanted including this last one where we can, let's say we have an agreement of sale with a seller, and uh, then a week before closing, we get the feeling that they've got somebody else, I can quick go um, uh, notarize and sign personally, just me, this document, and record it as a lien against the title on their property, prevent them from selling it to somebody else. 
Now, I can't tie it up forever, but I can make sure they sell it to me. Really, really, really cool thing. Very important, protects your business. It keeps you from getting screwed over and looking like a fool to those who are relying on you to provide money to you. So what I've done is, uh, you know, honestly, I, I paid my attorney a, a good amount of money, it was multi-thousands of dollars, um, for this agreement, and I threw in some other bonuses as well. And so if you go over to uh, jimswholesalingcontracts.com, the link is below this video, you can get your hands on this agreement. I paid a few thousand dollars for it, have my attorney draft up. Super cool dude, $800 an hour type attorney, right? Uh, no, I'm sorry, $600 an hour attorney. Uh, drafted this document. Uh, I imagine the system probably helped a little bit too. Point is this, go to jimswholesalingcontracts.com, get your hands on this wholesale agreement. So let me ask you a question. Are, do you want your deals rock solid? If so, then get your hands on this agreement. It, uh, it avoids a lot of potential issues. Of course, have your attorney review it. I gotta say that, right? But it's a really good agreement. And uh, it's going to keep, prevent you from losing deals. It's going to get you, it sets up all the expectations the right way with the sellers. And uh, it's just uh, put a lot of thought into it. And it's super duper cool. So go to Jim's Wholesaling Contracts.com, click the link below this video, and get yourself some rock solid wholesaling contracts. Jim's Asphalt signing off. So if you got some value out of this video, then do me a favor and share this on social media. Put it up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, whatever it is you do, and uh, share it around. Thanks. Talk to you soon.